I bear witness there is no God but God, Allah, the creator of the worlds, the earth, the heaven, the seen and unseen, and everything in between. He is the most forgiving, He is the most gracious, He is the most merciful. He is the all-knower, the all-seeing, the all-hearing. And Allah is well acquainted with all things and is worthy of all praise and worship. I also bear witness that Prophet Muhammad is Allah's messenger, and prophet, and the seal of prophets. May peace and blessings be upon him. In this video, I'd like to talk about the importance of putting our full trust in Allah and fearing in Allah. He is almighty and all-powerful, and He can do what He wills. So it's important to follow the Surah of Prophet Muhammad, which is the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, and to follow his example um, in his worship in Allah. And our purpose here in life is to worship Allah. He created us to worship Him. And putting our full faith in Allah and the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, making Him more important to us than anything in this world, even when it comes down to our own family, our friends, worldly gains, that Allah and his messenger and his teachings are above any worldly um, things or attributes. All blessings come from Allah and all disease and torment comes from Allah. So today I'm just going to read uh, from the Quran from Surah 14 verses 19 through 34 to highlight uh, the importance of uh, believing in the oneness of Allah, uh, making sure that um, nothing in this world is, is in between us and our Creator, that we have a direct connection with our Creator and not to put anything in between us and our Creator. And some of the blessings of being a believer, the glad tidings of paradise for the believer, and the blessings in this world and the hereafter. And a warning to those who disbelieve in the oneness of Allah, who associate partners with Allah, and are wrongdoers. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, from verse 19. Do you not see that Allah has created the heavens and the earth with truth? If He wills, He can remove you and bring in a new creation and for Allah that is not hard or difficult and they all shall appear before Allah on the day of resurrection when the weak will say to those who were arrogant verily we were following you can you avail us anything against Allah's torment they will say had Allah guided us we would have guided you. It makes no difference to us now whether we rage or we bear these torments with patience. There is no place of refuge for us. And Satan, Satan will say when the matter has been decided, Verily Allah promised you a promise of truth. And I too promised you, but I betrayed you. I had no authority over you except that I called you, and you responded to me, Satan. So blame me not. I blame me not, but blame yourselves. I cannot help you, nor can you help me. I deny your former act in associating me, Satan, as a partner with Allah, by obeying me in the life of the world. Verily, there is a painful torment for the polytheists and wrongdoers. 
polytheists are those who associate partners with the oneness of Allah. And those who believe in the oneness of Allah and his messengers and whatever they brought and did righteous deeds will be made to enter gardens under which rivers flow to dwell therein forever, i.e. in paradise, with the permission of their Lord. Their greetings therein will be peace. See you not how Allah sets forth a parable. A goodly word is a goodly tree, whose root is firmly fixed and its branches reach to the sky very high, giving its fruits at all times. By the leave of its Lord and Allah sets forth parables for mankind in order that they may remember. And the parable of the evil word is that of an evil tree uprooted from the surface of the earth having no stability. Allah will keep firm those who believe with the word that stands firm in the world, i.e. they will keep on worshipping Allah alone and no one else, and in the hereafter as well. And Allah will, will cause to go astray those who are polytheists and wrongdoers, and Allah does what He wills. Have you not seen those who have changed the blessings of Allah into disbelief? They, by denying Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him and his message of Islam, and cause their people to dwell in the house of destruction, hell in which they will burn, and what an evil place to settle in. And they set up rivals to Allah to mislead men from his path. Say, enjoy your, your brief life, but certainly your destination is the hellfire. And they set up rivals to Allah to mislead men from his path. Say, enjoy your brief life, but certainly your de destination is hellfire. Say, O Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, to who have believed, and they, that they should perform salat, which is prayer, and spend in charity out of their sustenance. We have given them, secretly and openly, before the coming of the day of which there will be neither mutual bargaining nor befriending. Allah is He who has created the heavens and the earth, and sends down water from the sky, and thereby brought forth fruits as a provision for you, and He has made the ships to be of service for you that they may sail through the sea by his command, and he has made rivers also to be of service to you. And he has made the sun and the moon, both constantly pursuing their courses, to be of service to you. And he has made the night and the day to be service to you. And he gave you of all that you asked of him. And if you count the blessings of Allah, Never will you be able to count them. Verily, man is indeed an extreme wrongdoer, a disbeliever, by worshipping others besides Allah, and by disobeying Allah and his prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. So the importance of being grateful for Allah, for all the things that are going on around us, for every trillions of cells that's going on in our bodies, that they're all operating properly, that we have oxygen to breathe, that all the plants are growing, giving us sustenance, that rain is coming down from the sky, that we have Allah creates automobiles for us to drive around in and make them operate properly, that if we were to try to count all these blessings that we would not be able to and even still those of mankind and the jinn do not still do not believe in the oneness of Allah and their creator